Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video. Today we got another episode of Next Week in Sneaker Releases. This week is actually All-Star Weekend, and we have 21, yes, 21 sneaker releases to go over. There are around like 45 to 50 if I wanted to go through all of them. I just picked some of the ones that I thought you guys would enjoy the most. I'm going to rattle through them as quick as I can. But before we get into that, if you could scroll down to the description, click those links to my Instagram and Twitter, hit that follow button over there. That would be greatly appreciated. And also hit the like button on this video. Let's see if we can hit 300 likes. But starting off right here, we got the Air Jordan 1 Laser. So this is to celebrate Jordan Brands or Jordan's 30th anniversary. Obviously, the Jordan 1 released in 1985. Originally, you do the math, 2015 is 30 years later. These will be $180 available at select Jordan brand accounts. Uh, from what I'm hearing, there are going to be a GR and not super, super limited, but still probably get them on release day. Here we have a Nike Command Force High in this all red with a white swoosh colorway. My favorite colorway of the sneaker to release thus far. I'm a big fan of red kicks, as you guys know. If you want to grab these, they will be $200 available at your Nike Sportswear accounts, and I wouldn't expect these to sell out right away. So if you don't want to grab them this week, you can probably pick them up later in the future. Next, we have a Nike Air Flight Hirachi in this black and lion blue colorway. Really nice colorway, really looks OG, a nice classic colorway of an amazing shoe. These are actually only $110, so a very affordable shoe as well. If you guys want to grab them, let me know in the comment section below, but they are releasing on the 9th of February. Moving on, we have the Nike All-Star Dunks. These are releasing on the 11th of February for the retail price of $120. And I'm really liking how they're looking. I'd like to see them in person, but just from the pictures, the spikes on the ankle collar and the toe box to go along with the patent leather swoosh is looking really cool in my opinion. And these are looking cool as well. The Nike Air Force One Elites in this white, white, and chrome colorway. These are only $130. So once again, a pretty affordable shoe and they look amazing in my opinion. I can't wait to see these in person. Hopefully I get a chance to, but these also release on the 11th of February. Moving on to the 12th of February, we have the Nike Hyper Rev 2015 All-Star colorway. This is a really, really nice colorway. One of my more favorite Nike basketball All-Star kicks actually this year. I love the ankle collar on this. It looks like a Hirachi. I love the heel cup, the plastic heel cup with the colors on it. The little print over the mesh on the upper looks awesome. For $120, you can't really go wrong. Another shoe for only $120, the Nike Hyper Chase also releasing on the 12th of February new Nike basketball silhouette and it looks really good. I love how the swoosh looks, reminds me of the LeBron 11. If there wasn't so many other things I wanted to pick up in the coming months, I would buy these, but for $120, I'd definitely recommend them. Next, we have the Nike Flyknit Lunar 3 finally making a release, and it is coming out in this multicolor way, a multicolor colorway and a black and orange colorway. Both colorways will be $160, so what I'm hearing, this one will be more limited and obviously more popular because it does feature a multicolor aspect. So if you want to get this colorway, I would recommend purchasing them on release day on uh, February 12th. Also on the 12th, I'm really jealous of you ladies and the people with small feet because this is only a women's colorway, the Nike Zoom Agility in the Multicolor Flyknit. This is amazing. It is the best Flyknit shoe I've seen in a long, long time and for only 130 bucks, you can't really go wrong, releasing on the 12th. Moving on, we have the Nike KD7 EXT Floral. As I said on Twitter, these look like your grandma's couch, like they definitely do. I'd like to see these in person. I can't really decide whether I love them or whether I hate them, but it's definitely on one end of the spectrum. I don't feel impartial to these. They are a very odd looking shoe, and for $200, you can pick them up at Nike Sports or Accounts on the 12th. Moving on to a Nike SB release coming out on the 13th, we have the De La Soul Highs. As you guys probably know, these really least as a low originally. They do have a De La Soul High, which is brown and green, but this one originally released as a low. I'm really liking how they're switching the lows to the highs and the highs to the lows. These will be $140, available on Nike.com and at your skate shops on the 13th. Also, we have the Nike KD7 All-Star. These will be $170 on the 13th, and I'm really liking these. The metallic silver hyperposite, the gradient swoosh from the purple to the pink, they hit a pink on the back of the midsole. I think it looks like a really nice shoe, and if you want to grab them, they should sell out pretty quick, so be on the ball with these. Now, my favorite Jordan 29 colorway coming uh, that has come out so far, this photo reel colorway, which is what they're calling it, comes out on the 23rd, or the 13th, pardon me, of February for the retail price of $225. I love this, how they took that classic photo of MJ jumping and put it onto the shoe. Uh, it's an amazing idea, and 
If there wasn't so many other shoes, I would definitely be picking those up. Another nice shoe here, the D. Lillard One All-Star. If you guys watched my last weekend's, last weekend sneaker releases, you guys know what I mean. Uh, I said I really like the D. Lillard, D. Lillard One. This is a really nice colorway of it, and for 115 bucks, you can't really go wrong. The Nike LeBron 12 All-Star is probably my favorite Nike basketball silhouette this year for the All-Star Pack. And uh, I really like this colorway on it. The gradient translucent outsole, the black and white hyperposite, the black and white mega fuse. 220 bucks is the retail price. They do release on February 14th. If you want to grab them, I would recommend waking up early and reserving your place in line or online because they will sell out quick. Just like these guys right here, the Nike Kyrie One All-Star. My favorite color of the Kyrie one thus far. I just like the subtle colors, that icy blue outsole that fades into purple at the heel, the glossy tongue, the glossy heel cup. It looks really cool in my opinion for only $115 or $130, pardon me. The Kobe 10 All-Star, not one of my favorite Nike basketball silhouettes from this year, but for $200 you can grab these, that citrus gradient outsole, the silver tongue, pretty nice colorway if you like this silhouette. Moving on to the 15th, which is the Sunday of that week. We have the Jordan 10 Lady Liberties or Statue of Liberties. These will be $190. I'm really liking the look of them, that sort of varnished leather with the hints of mint on the outsole and sock liner look really nice. This is my favorite Jordan 10 out of the two though, the Bulls over Broadway. I will be trying to pick these ones up. For $190, they will be pretty limited and seeing as how they're all red, they will sell out very, very quick. So wish me luck on trying to pick these ones up for $190 on the 15th. But saving the best for last, we have my favorite foam posit ever period, without a doubt, the Nike Foam Posit 1 Mirror. These will be releasing in extremely limited quantities on Nike.com and only in three retail locations in New York. So they are going to be very limited, very hard to get. I really hope I can get them. $275 is the retail price point on February 15th. So thank you for watching, guys. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Let me know what you want to pick up. Sorry it was so rushed, but there were a lot of sneakers as you saw. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.